All right, what's good YouTube? So today I have a collection video. I'm going to show you guys my secret collection binder. But first, I'm gonna start off with showing you guys a recent Charizard purchase. So pick these up. These are 1999 Bandai Charizards. Um, very cool, very old. They don't pop up very often. So uh, when they did on Facebook, I hit the guy up and I was like, how much? And he told me seven. And I was like, seven dollars each? And he was like, no, seven for all. And I was like, okay, so pick these up. He told me they're his doubles, that's why they were so cheap. And you know, the, the prices on these can kind of be obscure. This is probably my favorite out of the band eyes. Um, just because it's a very, very unique style, kind of a niche type of thing. Then um, for this one, I th it looks like a poker card. Here's the back. I don't know much about it. I just told the guy I wanted it. I saw it had Charizard on it, and I was like, let me get that one too. But if you guys know anything about it, let me know. Pretty cool. And then the last one, so this came out of like an action figure and it's just super unique, super awesome in my opinion. And it's from 1998 according to the date, so can't go wrong with a 20 year old Charizard and it's in really good condition. So um, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing like purchases that I make because I do quite a bit um, but I kind of do them like off camera you know what I mean so let's show you guys what's inside this binder so I got asked the question do I collect Pokemon other than Charizard a few weeks ago and the answer is yes and the non Charizards are in this binder so starting off with page one we have some Blastoises. I have quite a few Blastoises, so much so that I have two pages of them. The, these two cards right here, I didn't have a spot for them. It's an Entei Raikou Legend, top and bottom, and uh, I just need somewhere to stick it. But there's some pretty cool stuff in here. We got some Expedition, some Team Rocket. Um, let's keep it going. The next page is Venusaur, and we have a Erica's Venusaur, very cool card, Expedition. This is a Tops pop-up. Um, there is a Charizard. I'm not sure if there's a Blastoise, but, you know, pretty unique card. Liked it. I like stuff that is unique. Um, so, yeah. We have a couple extras right here that just didn't fit on the front page. You know, nothing crazy. I also collect Houndooms. So, here's some Houndooms. We got... Um, Neo Revelation, pretty sure that's what that is, or yeah, or Discovery, I'm not sure, someone will probably correct me in the comments down below, um, another Pokemon I collect are, uh, is Garchomp, and the two cards, well actually I'll take this one out too, so these are probably my three favorite Garchomps, these are two different, as you can see the Garchomp's got a different pose, um, this is a secret rare Garchomp with a gold border. Pretty cool in my opinion. The, the gold bordered Garchomp is probably the most expensive one within this little uh, page of Pokemon cards. But yeah, um, really like Garchomp. I also really like uh, Hydreigon. Here's another secret rare Hydreigon. It wants to focus as you can see 103 out of 99 i believe this comes from noble victories an older set so pretty cool stuff right there let's keep it moving um i really do like tyranitar oh this is not focused at all sorry about that i really do like tyranitar um but <laughs> i don't have any crazy tyranitar cards you know honestly um, I guess this one, most of my Tyranitars are newer, and the reason being is because if you ever look at, like, older Tyranitar cards, they are stupid expensive. 
Tyranitar is just one of those Pokemon that has very high dollar Pokemon cards. Up next, we have Arcanine. I really like Arcanine. And uh, here's some pretty cool pieces of my collection. This is a Shadowless Arcanine and a Blaine's Arcanine holographic. Probably my two favorites from the Arcanine collection. You know, the classic uh, promo from back in the day is cool too. Beedrill. So I like Beedrill a lot. And I uh, have quite a few cool Beedrill cards. Luckily, Beedrill is a very inexpensive Pokemon card. <laughs> like, these are always reasonably priced. So, we have the Shadowless Beedrill, and you can tell because it doesn't have that shadow. We have a Koga's Beedrill from Gym Challenge, and then this is from Legendary Collection, the Beedrill Reverse Hollow. Pretty awesome. All right, let's keep it moving. There's another page of Beedrill cards right here. Um, nothing too crazy on this second page of Beedrill cards, but Salamence, um, like Salamence a lot. So I have a couple cards. Probably my favorite is going to be this Salamence Delta Species. I really like the Delta Species. Um, time period of Pokemon. I thought that was an awesome era. Also like Slacking a lot. So they have a bunch of Slacking cards. I'm pretty sure this is like almost every variation. I might be wrong, but I try to collect like one of everything. So always really like Slacking. I have a couple more right here from Unified Minds and then forget which set this is. Kangaskhan, you know, can't go wrong with some Kangaskhan. Got a jungle hollow right here. Probably the oldest card out of my Kangaskhan cards. All right, Sharpedo. So this is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And my favorite Sharpedo card is going to be this Sharpedo EX. You cannot tell me this does not look awesome. Old school EX, you know, I just, I also really like the full art EX, but this one takes the cake for sure. Okay, up next we have Scizor, Scizor, however you want to say it. I say it, I say it Scizor. Um, we got Scizor Prime, a couple full arts, shiny. Full art megas, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Really like Scizor. Also have a rocket Scizor right there. My favorite bird out of the three OG birds is Articuno. So I have a page dedicated to Articuno. Got the full art, the shiny, you know, all that good stuff. So nothing too crazy on this page. So I've always liked Shuckle for whatever reason. I just always thought it was goofy. So uh, I have a bunch of Shuckle cards here. I have the regular Full Art and Rainbow Rare. And then a couple other old school stuff. First editions, you know. But yeah, Shuckle. Stantler is another one. I don't know why I like Stantler. It's just because it's so goofy probably, but... I um, believe this is Sky Ridge Reverse Hollow, and definitely one of the more expensive cards. Yeah, that's Sky Ridge. If anybody knows anything about Sky Ridge, it is a super expensive set. Skun Tank, um, nothing too crazy here. We got a Pokemon Rumble card, but. Other than that, there's nothing crazy. I like Skun Tank. It's a skunk. I like Rampardos. Probably one of my favorite fossil Pokemon. It has a super high attack stat. I think it's cool. Raticate. Um, Raticate was like one of the first Pokemon. So I'm an OG Gen 1 where I played the original games when I was like 7 or 8 years old. And so 
when you're playing on that for the first time, the one of the first Pokemon you catch is Rattata, and I had one, and I trained him up super high, so I always have a soft spot for Raticate. This is a first edition base set, um, Raticate, so one of the first Pokemon cards right here. But yeah, so I got some some pretty cool Raticate cards right there. Scyther, always love Scyther. Um, got a couple old school cards here. We have a Rocket Scyther, pretty cool card. And then we have some other, uh, we have some like Jungle non hollows Base Set 2 Hollow, some Shinies, nothing too crazy. I think we're almost at the end here. Um, so on this page, it's just Shedinja. I always thought this was a unique Pokemon. Always try to get it in the Gen 3 games and use it, even though it would die in one hit if it got hit by a super effective move. So, but I still like it. And then on this last page, Steelix. So I, I haven't filled the page out yet, but I need to go through my massive collection of just loose cards and pick out the Steelixes, but got a couple full arts and stuff like that, so yeah. Um, the question was, do I collect stuff other than Charizard? And the answer is yes. So if you guys like seeing this uh, collection binder kind of video, let me know. I have a couple more binders I could show you guys. Um, so yeah. Uh, I appreciate all of the support, and I have a code right here for you, just in case you stuck around to the end. But, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video, um, and, yeah, give me some feedback. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Have a great day. Peace.